Hi guys, I'm here to get my new van, or my, it's an older van, it's a 2014, but it's new to us. We're getting the battery monitor system upgraded from the C-Tech, uh, which is the older system, to a brand new system. So we're going to have a look and um, talk to Ash from Crackman Electrical, and uh, he'll run it down. What's going on? What have we got here, Ash? It's a battery plus high output um, battery management system. So we've got an MPPT charger, uh, battery charger, fuse, setup fuse controller uh circuit breakers and we're going to do a track three uh battery monitor and tank monitor so um so we're going to just get shane set up for pretty much a lithium upgrade um down the track so yeah we'll see how we go and make a day of it it's gonna be fun awesome right guys this is the <laughs> this is the take two because i've got to record this is the c tech system the old one and Ash is going to put um, the new one in for us. So this is your C-Tech down yeah, the bottom here. The old ST35. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to remove that unit, put in the uh, BM Pro Battery Plus, uh, remove the old school tank monitor and put in the Trek 3 in its place. Um, so with that system, it'll give you a lot more features where it'll give you the tanks, uh, battery status, hours to empty, etc., and inputs and outputs. All right, guys, we've just got the... Um, the finished product here. Um, Ash has done it all day today and he's done a fantastic job. We'll show you what it's like. The finished product and Ash will just run through what he's done. So what we've got in here, we have the uh, battery plus 35 high output. So that what that is, that's a battery management system. So it's the battery charger, uh, fuse panel, and MPPT solar regulator all built into one. Um, so what happens here is power comes in via the battery and then you have solar come in as well and you have all your outputs go out to your loads throughout the van. Um, we have what we hear is the Link 103. This is just a, a link that joins the, the smart monitor to the battery plus system and also all the tank monitors come into that. This allows you to read what's going on on the screen up in the cupboard there. So, we'll um, run through that so what we've got here is we've got a Trek 3. Uh, the Trek 3 lithium compatible battery monitor display. Uh, we have, at the moment, we have no no inputs coming in, so no solar or auxiliary. Auxiliary is from the car whilst you're driving. Um, we have what we have here is a, a pump switch. You push this button, the little pump, it's got provision for two pumps. We're in pump one. You push that, pump turns on, off we go. Two tank system, but compatible up to four. Three clean, one dirty, or you can set them to whatever you like in the system. Amps is what is your consumption, so it tells you how many amps you're using in the van. If we say turn the light on in the van, uh, now we're using 4.2 amps, um, and now we've got 18 hours remaining on the battery in the van, which is 100 amp hour, and it says discharging 13.1 volts. Um, we turn off one light at a time. You'll see that that, um, you'll see that that, uh, there it goes. The usage or the output changes. Uh, it drops, and then in theory, that time remaining should climb. So every time we drop a light out, that should just get the amps get smaller, the hours get higher. Um, there you go. There we go. And then the, now we're up to 61 hours. And if we knock it out all together, it should go back to zero. And being that we're not using anything or making anything, we don't have a time remaining because we've got a we've got a battery that is in standby. Yep. Um, if there was an input coming in, it would say charging, um, and whatever is coming in here, it gives you amount of current coming in here for either solar or auxiliary, it will say charging, and so um, if we had lights on and solar coming in, that would say be on two amps, and if we were making four amps of solar, we'd be in a charging status, but if we're using more power than what the solar can create, it'll, it'll go into discharging. But the system's pretty smart. It'll just all do its do oh, it. what it needs yeah. to do. And at the moment, it's on a um, a gel battery, uh, AGM, AGM, uh, gel. Yeah, gel. Yeah. Hundred amp hour gel. Yep. Um, this is your power switch, the little battery symbol. So what this is, that's basically a master switch. So that, that's I've just killed all twelve volt to yep. the van. If I want to say uh, come into the van and start using something, I hit that. So that's your isolator switch now. Basically, an isolator yep. switch. Yeah, everything there fires up. Home button is more for the setup seat feature and uh, a backlight, and you can set the time that that stays on. So pretty good, pretty uh, really simple. simple system. 
um, and very easy to change over to lithium later. Just go into the parameters and just swap it over to the battery size and into uh, the lithium uh, output or the, the setup. Pretty easy. All right, so guys, that's that's all being done. One or more two things just to finish it off, but that's basically the system. Um, I am not going to be running a inverter just yet. I will eventually get an inverter. I don't need it. I'm not on the road full time. Um, I will get a, a lithium battery so that I don't have to worry too much. If I want to go off road for three or four days, my battery will last longer than my water will. So um, I'll leave some details down below um, for Ash. If you want to get in hold of him, he'll be Victoria. So Ash has looked after me and look after you too. Does a great job, nice and clean, nice and tidy and punctual. So give him a call and uh, he'll look after you. Thanks guys.